How's everybody doing today? And as you can see, we're going to be doing the career simulation for Bobby Witt Jr., the second overall draft pick to the Kansas City Royals. So if you guys want to see some more of these career simulations, let me know in the comment section down below which player you'd like to see. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel and enjoyed the content, make sure you subscribe. So with that being said, Bobby Witt Sr. was a MLB pitcher. I mean, he had a pretty long career. He wasn't amazing or anything but he was you know he's a pretty consistent pitcher um but when we look at bobby witt jr he's known for being one of the quickest players in this year's draft um very quick got a lot of speed a very good defense uh fielder of the ball um they've been comparing his arm strength to carlos correa who definitely has one of the best arms at the shortstop position as well as just being very good with the glove um another thing that they're they're really liking about him is that he's got like i've mentioned he's got some speed definitely has some speed good arm strength and he definitely can hit for power um and average so he's kind of potentially a five tool player it's just they think he needs to add a little you know to develop a little bit more power but we'll have to wait and see what he does so bobby witt jr i went to the player vault i found i found a bobby witt jr that i thought looked a little bit like him um and i also liked his rating so i, I it was a 67 overall to start with I just uh, boosted his arm strength a little bit and that bumped him up to a 68. So he's going to start in double A. I'm not going to show you guys anything until he makes it to the majors. So we'll wait and see what he does. But currently he's going to start in double A just because he's 18. I don't want to call him up too early. Um, but these are his stats to start with. Some power, really decent fielding already for an 18 year old and really good speed. So I think for now, this is a good place to start. You guys can see he can play second and third as well. And I think, I think this is going to be a really solid, uh, career simulation. Obviously it's going to take a few seasons before he gets into the major leagues. Um, and he's, he, he has to compete against some other players. There's Whit Merrifield. There's Nicky Lopez, there's uh, Mondesi, so there's there's a lot there's a lot of competition here at this Royals um, in this Royals team. He's definitely gonna have to make some moves, maybe move him over to third or second if Lopez or Dozier doesn't pan out. So so far we're gonna start in Double A. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so 2022 was the year Bobby Wood Jr. made the MLB squad. He played 119 games. Had 398 at bats and he hit a 206 average, eight home runs, 30 RBIs. It looks like he split a lot of time, like between shortstop, third, and second, because every single player on the MLB squad is a little bit better than uh, with Bobby Witt Jr., which is a little disappointing that they brought in Josh Donaldson. They brought in Starling Castro. And these were like uh, the Josh Donaldson trade was a trade that happened this season. So that's a little bit unfortunate to see that they still have some players above him, um, especially Mondesi being there is a big, a big thing. I might move, maybe move him to second base. That way we can get Bobby Wood Jr. into the squad a little bit more. Maybe move uh, Bobby Wood Jr. to second base. I know he's got a really good arm. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a little bit better than Mondesi's. Maybe move Mondesi to second so that Bobby Wood Jr. can play short. That way we can get him into the starting team. So you can see his stats in the top right hand corner. Um, he's not, he's not a bad rated player already um so we'll have to see how he does in his second professional season let's get into it if anything happens i'll show you guys i don't think he won an award i'd be surprised if he won an award yeah so there's that season one in the books i mean it wasn't a terrible season it looks like he was more of a like a platoon player so we'll see how the rest of his career shapes out Alrighty, so season five sees bobby witt jr up to a 92 well this is his fifth season we're obviously farther than season five in the actual sim but you can see defensively he looks really good good speed and also his hitting stats aren't too bad they're not amazing but they're not terrible he's gotten better every single season um this year a little a little, little bit of a dip but still pretty consistent um compared to last year about 20 home runs you know the rbi numbers have gone up hit numbers went up as well um the thing with the average is he played a lot more so he probably had uh, more at bats obviously he had more at bats but you guys can see you know he's stealing around 16 bases a year as well so he's he's getting some really good numbers um so he's looking like easily one of the best shortstops in the game already good doubles numbers he had 36 this year he had 33 a couple seasons ago like i said he's hitting around 20 home runs you know 50 plus rbis he's been hitting kind of lower in the lineup anyway so we might move him up to maybe like that two or three spot see how he does in the future but so far so good i mean the it's not crazy power. It's not crazy 
anything, but he's very consistent. He's got really good stats. And so far, so good through five. Already season 10 is finished. You guys can see Bobby Wood Jr. has had a little bit of a power surge the last few seasons. Um, basically, since we stopped looking at his stats, he's had 36 home runs, 23, 30, and 24. RBI numbers went up as well. Average has definitely improved on base percentage, slugging, OPS, all that stuff. He's still hitting very good doubles numbers, 41, 38, and 35, all within the last three seasons. Hit numbers are pretty solid as well. So overall, he's looking like he's he's having a pretty solid hitting like career. Um, when you look at like his morale and his stats, I don't understand why they're going down so quickly. He's only 30. Um, maybe the fact that the Royals haven't been to the playoffs like at all during his entire career, and for some reason his team role is down to just a starter. I don't I don't really know why. Um, he is the starting shortstop almost every single game, but there's some reason why his overall is going down. But so far, when you look at his stats, his season's been pretty good. His career's been pretty good. So we'll see how it continues. He still has a few years left on his deal. He signed a seven-year deal for $24.9 million every single season. So let's just see how it plays out. Alrighty, so there wasn't a lot of stopping to look at awards or playoff victories or world series victories in this episode or this video for a career simulation mostly because the royals only made the playoffs like three times maybe four times each time they made the alcs but they didn't really make it interesting there was no there was no awards for bobby witt jr um and unfortunately he just didn't win any awards i mean it, i'm not saying that he had a bad career because when we look at his stats his his stats are actually pretty solid it's just that the Royals really only made the playoffs like three times out of the entirety of this video. On top of that, it's just his his numbers weren't MVP numbers or league leading numbers or anything like that. So unfortunately, no awards, no World Series or anything for Bobby Witt Jr. But that's not to say his career went poorly. So at the age of 40, he's a 50 overall. Um, he's going to be retiring. The thing is, he actually stayed with the Royals the entirety of his career. Um, the last two seasons, he, he was in free agency. That was just because he was such an old, low overall. There really wasn't a point to keep him on the team. And there's actually kind of a bug in MLB where if you consistently sign a player, um, for the most part, they'll always stick around for one more season after you sign them. So um, you really kind of have to keep an eye on that. Because if I would have kept signing Bobby Wood Jr., he probably would have played another like five, six seasons. So we'll, we'll, you kind of have to keep an eye on that. But um, the first contract he did sign was a seven year deal. Each year he got paid 25 million. That kept him to about 34 years old. And then after that, he signed a, um, yeah, a, let's see, let's see. He's been in the free agency for two years. So I think it was like the next four years, he signed like a, a four or $5 million deal. So he's been kind of, here and there um but you can see he hasn't played in the, the majors these last two years um he was in the minors that's basically what it came down to two years in the minors two years in free agency and he just retired so this was his last season 2036 so yeah he signed a seven-year deal and then he signed a three-year deal or four-year deal after that so basically he stuck true to the royal blue i don't know if that's really a saying or anything like that but he was at Kansas City for the entirety of his career. So let's take a look at his numbers because his numbers are actually, they're not bad. Um, his last season, he only played nine games, but a career 256 hitter, which I mean, yes, it definitely could have been a lot better, but it still wasn't horrible at all. Um, at one point, I think it was like a 96, 97. He was amazing. Like every hitting stat, um, I probably should have showed you guys that, but um, the more the more I think about it, I probably definitely should have showed you guys what he reached. He, he reached a 97. Um, each hitting stat was 75 or above. Um, his speed was always around 85. Arm strength, arm accuracy, fielding, they were always in the 80s when he was at his best. He was just a solid player. You guys can see 19 home runs, 33 home runs, 16, 24, 24, 30. He finished a career with 305 home runs, almost 1,000 RBIs. His on-base percentage was 330, slugging 488, and an 818 OPS. Finished with just over 2,000 hits in his career, 
And I mean, he was a double machine hitting close to 30 um, or more in almost like all of his seasons. He was very good at hitting doubles. You know, you can see there was a 41 season as well. So like he was he, he was a good hitter, just a very good hitter. Uh, finishes with 14 years in the majors. So let's let's take a peek. Let's see if he made the Hall of Fame. He doesn't, unfortunately. Um, but hey, that was that was still a pretty solid career. Like I said, if I can find um, back in the recording, like where he was at his peak, I'll take a little screenshot and put it on screen while um, I talked about that. But like I said, he finished the highest he got was like a 97. Every hitting stat was above 75 power and contact. His vision was in the mid to high 70s and his fielding and arm accuracy, arm strength were all above 80. So he was a very, very solid player. Um, but yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this career simulation. If you did hit that like button down below, subscribe if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed today's video and you also enjoy baseball content, MLB content, stuff like that. And in the comment section, let me know what you guys think Bobby Jr. Bobby Witt Jr. is going to do in the majors. Do you think he's going to have a good career? Do you think he's going to fit with the Royals very well? And uh, let me know which player you'd like to see next in a career simulation. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.